DJ Jimmy up. What up, y'all? I'm back again with another video. As you can see, I'm bald now, but I got some nice shoes for y'all. No, no regular schmegler shoes. You know, I got some good stuff. As you can see by the title, some of you might know what these are. They're a little different. They're a little creative. I guess you could say, you know, not your average Nike shoe or Adidas shoe or Yeezy. These are actually from an independent. I mean, I guess you could call it independent brand. It really, that's, that's the title you give it. We know that sounds kind of hipsterish, but it's a guy named Trevor. And lately he's been putting more um, time into his other brand called Fugazi. And that's what these are. These are actually, I don't know if it's the first thing he's ever released through that brand Fugazi, but it's definitely the first thing on his Instagram right now. So I don't know if he had released it before. And now he restarted with these, but I mean, these are the first ones up on his Instagram right now. They've already sold out. I bought these shits back in November, actually. So I'm filming this in January. I bought these back in November and I just got them a couple of days ago. So that tells you it took like fucking a long time man. a lot of fucking weeks you know and it was weird because when i bought them the day they released i was at work they released at 12 and i don't get out of work until two so when i found out it was at 12 i'm like fuck how the fuck am i gonna get these so you know i'm like fuck work man shoes are more important so i go in the bathroom like around 11 55 Playing that shit, I was looking at the clock, just waiting for that shit to hit 11:55. As soon as that shit hit 11:55, I was like, "Oh, I gotta go pee." So I went to the bathroom, act, acted like I was gonna take a shit or something. I sat down, and I got on my phone. I just waited, just to wait on the pit. Went to the website, to the Fugazi website, and just waited and waited and waited, and then boom, them shit just dropped. I remember he had the shoes, and then on the bottom he had like a thing to prevent bots. So, so yeah, he had both of those. And then as soon as I went in, I was like, oh shit, I saw both of those, but I was like, no, that's not the right one. I clicked on the actual shoe, clicked my size, which is a 10, as you can see on the box. And I checked out immediately. Like, as soon, like, I, no joke. As soon as it was on, I just, it was like three steps. I went doom, 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 and then whoo, I was gone. I was, I was in the waiting shit. So as soon as I was waiting, I was like, fuck, am I gonna get these? Am I gonna get these? Like, I don't have luck with shoes. Like, sneakers at, I don't score on there. I haven't. The only shoes I've ever gotten for retail that are worth a lot are Sean Weatherspoons. And that's because I voted. If not, I wouldn't even had had that access to the shoe. Because when they actually released, I didn't get them. I had to get them like months later when we got exclusive access. So that just shows you I don't have luck. So my expectations are always low. But with these, the shit was waiting, waiting, waiting. And then boom, that shit said, congratulations. You have placed your order, blah, blah, blah. We'll ship them out in a couple of weeks size 10 so i was like fuck yes i wanted these so bad because i have pairs of ones but what these resemble i don't have that actual pair so it's cool to get these instead of like the normal nike and like instead of me talking about it i should just show y'all the packaging on these is amazing too first thing you see when you open it up you see the one in the chamber which is like the one in the chamber was like the name of the shoe, kind of. Fugazi is the brand, and one in the chamber was the whole theme behind the shoe. And you'll see that in a little bit. So that's the card. And then on the back, it gives you instructions on how to install the lace tips. Because the lace tips are actually not your normal lace tips. So once you get rid of that, you see the wanted. You see Trev, reward, and then the amount of money. Trev, of course, being the person who actually made the shoe. And then, wow, those are it, man. They're beautiful. I know. I love these. I really do. You can see it in the detail. These are supposed to resemble Jordan 1s. So as you can see, the shape is really similar. You know, like, really similar. The thing that's different about these is this isn't a Nike look lab. He independently went to the factories and got somebody to manufacture these shoes. So you can see there's no Nike swoosh. Instead, there's a pistol. There's five bullets right here. And then the last six bullets in the chamber. Reference the name, one in the chamber. Real, real Western theme, like, you know, seen in the mo in the Western movies where you got two guys with each other's back. They walk five steps. They turn around. They get one shot to kill the other dude. That's what these are based off. That's why you have the bandana print right here. You have the gun going all around to the other side. We got the bullet lace tips. Come on now, those are five. And then, instead of your normal holes, you have bullet holes. So you can see they're little, it looks like 
It doesn't look like a perfect hole. It looks more like it's being shot out. On the tag, you then have Fugazi, which is the name of the actual brand with a dagger. And then behind the tongue, you have that wanted poster that I was telling you about earlier. Of course, Trev being the owner of the brand, the creator of these shoes. And then, you know, every, every good shoe has a good insole. And this one is a target. So as you can see, the guy really went in on everything, like from not only details on the shoe, but also packaging on the box and everything. Presentation is amazing. I, I, I don't want to be a dick writer, but I give props where it is. And the dude killed it, man. He didn't half-ass it at all. Not at all. Here are both of the shoes. Of course, I can't just show you one. I did put white laces on these. This is how they came. But I'm going to be honest. I can't decide which ones I like better. I can't. The white one is clean because it matches the tongue. But then the black ones, they remind me of like Jordan. Like they remind me of like, I don't know. They're more nostalgic to me than these. These are more, I'll admit this looks cleaner, but these are more nostalgic. Like when I see, see these, I think of pictures of Jordan playing. So these remind me of like that 90s type nostalgia vibe instead of these. But who knows? I haven't rocked them yet, so I don't know how I'm going to wear them, but... Yeah, there's both colors on them. Then on the box, you also get a dust bag. Just a regular schmegler red dust bag. You get a little velvet bag that actually holds... Let me get this open real quick. You get two other sets, and then you also get these, which are for installing the actual laces onto, like... To the actual aglets of the shoe you have to super glue them and then screw them on so like i said if you want to swap out the white laces which come in here in the packet all you have to do is grab these super glue it and twist it on and you're good then like i was telling y'all about the wanted poster here it is that are wanted that are alive picture of trevor two tooth trev and then the reward. I actually want to frame this, I'm not gonna lie. It just reminds me of a poster like hanging on the side of a bar in an old Western movie. So I want to frame this shit up. I'd rather have it in my room, chilling instead of like in the box. And then last but not least, it's of course the receipt, as you can see right there, for Gigi the brand. And these actually had, in my opinion, a, re a really low retail. The retail was only $187, which in my opinion is really good. You pay $160 for a regular Jordan, so $27 more for these is not bad at all in my opinion. I think it's a great fucking shoe because the quality on these are amazing. As you can see on camera, you can see that grain. You can see it all around the shoe. So I don't mind paying that at all. Honestly, I thought that these were going to retail for a lot higher. I was expecting like $250 and up. Like, I did not think they were going to be in the 100. I thought 250 enough for retail. But they're 185. Shout out to Trevor for that. That was an amazing price. And then you paid $13. $13 of shipping. So in total, you got these for $200. That is amazing. I love that. This is a, it's a beautiful shoe. Now, I do got to speak on it, though, because it's actually become a trend. There's a guy that makes stuff for Billie Eilish. He also did a pair of Dunks. In my opinion, the ones that that guy made, they're a lot more tasteful. You could tell he also did the same thing as Trevor. He didn't just slap the logo on. They actually, like, they put their own twist on it. They put their logo, but then they also, like, modify little things that go along with the theme. That's what I like about these. It's a whole theme. It's not like he just smacked his logo. It's a whole theme that actually goes together with the shoe. He's not only releasing, like, more clothing and shit like that. He's also actually going to be releasing more of these pretty soon. So, as you can see here, first he has the black toes. And then he's releasing a pair of these silvers. In my opinion, I'm not going to lie. These are my favorite ones. I like these the best, but those white ones are hard as fuck. And then the black toes, those are all right. But I mean, definitely out of the three is these, then the white, then the black toes. So yeah, if you guys want to check them out, I highly recommend it. Like I said, he has more clothing, more shoes. So you can check that out on the Fugazi page right there. That's where you'll find all of that. And with that being said, guys, thank y'all so much for watching this video. I appreciate y'all watching me show you guys my shoes, you know? I do these videos because I really love this shit. I do them because when I'm 70, I can remember this. I can remember I used to have these. And I do them because it's just fucking fun. 
So thank y'all for watching. I'll be, I'll be back next time with another video. I have no idea what the next video will be, but it'll come one day. So I'll see you guys next time, and I'm out this bitch. 300, bitch.